it's not just a constant accuracy as an average, but it's immediately at every moment you have a constant force over the whole power range of the watch. It's a very long uh, lasting development. Uh, it took uh, over seven years uh, to, to come to, to see the watch today. From a technological point of view, I think it's a kind of a marriage from the old way of uh, watchmaking, the real pure artisanat, and the very high-end technology. It is, in fact, a, a strip which transmits inherent force to the balance wheel to keep it running at a constant frequency. It's one impulse on each direction of rotation of the balance wheel. You don't just use like a fusée to keep a constant drive force, which may be varied by the gearing anyway. So it's a constant force system integrated into the escapement system. The advantage of this force, accumulated force, is that it's available at a constant rate and gives always the same force to the system. They have prepared 10 prototypes for the Basel Fair and it's expected to have it available on the market by end of this year. Today we have, uh, I think, a product which looks really, really strong, looks really modern and has a technology inside which is unique. For the moment uh, we, are, um, we are still working on it in the sense that uh, there are other developments that we would like to do in that specific watch. But uh, of course the goal is that uh, because it's something that gives you more precision and more watchmaking quality, it will go also in uh, the other collection. We are writing probably a new page in, uh, in a technical development for the watch industry. There are other uh, constant force and other escapement and so on, but here I think uh, is the combination of those two things. So the very high technology plus uh, the way of working it, uh, uh, which is the same way uh, since uh, many, many years, uh, typical for the high-end uh, uh, complication in the watch industry, which makes it uh, very special. Mm -hmm.